Hey everybody, it's David Pingree out here at Paula Raceway for Racer X Tested. Uh, we're here today to try out a new RMZ 250 that Jay Clark built for us. Uh, it's actually a 270, got a 270 kit in it. A uh, bunch of modifications with the help of FMF and Dunlop and some other companies. You may have seen this bike in the magazine. Today we're out here to, to take it through its paces. I wish I could say I would be riding it, but that's not going to be the case. We have Jeff Northrup from FMF coming out to help us out. He's a very capable rider. and. Uh, while he may say good things about the FMF exhaust one way or the other, uh, we know he's a great test rider, and uh, he's going to tell us his thoughts on this bike. So let's show let's show you the bike a little bit and uh, kind of go over some of the things we did to it. So Jay Clark started with the motor on this machine, and he took a Cylinder Works 269cc kit that actually bolts right on, comes with a forged vertex piston and a top-end gasket kit. It's very stealth. You don't even notice that it's anything other than stock. He put in Hot Cam's two stage, uh, stage two cam set, paired that with an FMF Racing 4.1 RCT tie muffler with a Mega Bomb header and also the FMF snap system. They're using VP Racing Fuel, the 4.4, U4.4 fuel, Uni Air Filter, CV4 hoses, Renthal bars and sprockets and chain and grips. It's got Dunlop MX51 FA tire on the front with an MX51 rear match to it. Decal Works handled the graphics. It's got an attack graphics seat cover. Works connection, connection hooked us up with a whole bunch of little goodies on it. Um, chain blocks, radiator braces, uh, all kinds of little bling to make the bike uh, stand out. It's also got a Henson clutch in it, which helps the performance of the clutch and also the reliability. It's got TCR wheels, anodized stock hubs, 270 millimeter Moto Master rotor in the front and a flame rear disc from Moto Master. And Race Tech has also come out and completely revalved the suspension. They're going to work with Jeff a little bit today and uh, get it set up just right for him so he's perfectly happy with it. I'm Jeff Northrup, and we're here with Racer X Tested. Uh, today we came out with a 2013 RMZ 250. Um, this is a great bike to come out on today. Um, they did a lot of extras to this bike, and I actually had the chance to ride it about a month ago stock. So it's good to come out here and compare it with all the great features that they've done today. Um, first off, we, we bit a, put a big bore kit on it. Uh, definitely huge power gains uh, on the low end mid-range top just gave the bike overall a lot more power a lot more grunt coming out of the corners top end speed um, just a lot more liking for an older bigger guy myself um, then we tied it in with some race tech suspension you know they did some goal valving and uh, we started off with the stock spring rate uh, things were all right but i felt the forks were being a little stiff we actually changed the fort front fork uh, springs to a little bit softer fork spring i like that a little bit better uh, tracked a little better coming in the corners, handled a little bit better in the, in the braking bumps. Uh, we left the rear stock uh, spring rate the same, but we put a race tech spring on it, which worked out great. Uh, the tracking coming out of the corners was good. Coming into corners stayed really stable. Uh, I think the only thing we ended up doing on the shock is we just, we just sped up the uh, rebound a little bit. That way it kind of come into the uh, braking bumps a little bit smoother, track a little bit better. Um, overall, great, great features they've done to this bike, uh, made it a lot faster. Another thing we tried that I've tried on the stock bike, which I really like this time, a little bit different couplers. Uh, we started off with the stock one, which wasn't bad, it worked great. And then we leaned over to the lean one and uh, it did a lot of great things for it, especially off the bottom, made it a lot more peppier coming out of the corners. Uh, I did find it coming out of long sandy straightaways, uh, just kind of flattened out a little bit. So we, we steered towards the richer plug and I found out that it pulled a lot longer coming out of the corners and it felt a little more rider friendly to me. I could uh, pull a gear a lot longer um, and came out of the corner a lot faster than any other couplings. So a lot of great things, a lot of cool things with the optional couplings, couplers, I'm sorry. Another good addition that we did to this RMZ is uh, we threw on a, an FMF factory 4.1 RCT muffler, full system, titanium with the Mega Bomb. 
The Mega Bomb gave it a lot of great bottom end, which helped that big bore kit just, just rip you out of the corners. The 4.1 muffler gave it a good over rev. Uh, just an overall, a lot of power, bottom, mid-range, top. Just rider friendly for a bigger guy, older guy who's looking for a bigger, more beefier type of motor. Uh, the big bore kit definitely takes a step up from the stock. Overall, just a great handling bike. Uh, Race Tech did a great job on it, along with uh, the, the big bore kit. Um, like I said, an older, bigger guy for myself, it made me steer back to the 250F instead of the 450 liking. So uh, great day today and a lot of fun riding the 250F.